Bicycle Rider YouTube, this is Bart and I've got the Elroy in the house. This is the Marin Elroy. This bike is a little bit hard to describe, but if you get it, you get it. If you don't, it might not be for you. But this bike is uh, definitely serves a couple really cool purposes. For one, it's a steel bike, double butted chromoly steel. This bike is tough as nails. Um, you know, I, uh, I mean, we're in Biloxi Bicycle Works in Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, we're not really known for hardcore downhill mountain bike riding here. But it seems like as time goes on, a lot of these state, state parks are starting to get flow trails. We have one that just opened up down the road, uh, Bogachita. Um, flow Motion just came in and built a bunch of jumps. And people are tearing up their bikes. Uh, cross country mountain biking around here is king, but a lot of people like features. They like jumps. They like, they like doing stuff with their cross country bikes that just happens to be tearing those bikes up a lot. Right now, coming out of the Corona pandemic, there aren't a lot of parts available to repair people's bikes. You know, when I, when I'm looking at something like this and I'm looking at, you know, the new trail in, in Homachita, the flow trail, I'm thinking this is a bike. You're not having to tear up your expensive full suspension mountain bike. Um, you you have plenty of travel, and this is a uh, this, this front fork is amazing. It's the uh, uh, Marzuki Bomber Z1. Look up the specs of this fork. It's uh, 140 millimeters, and it is beefy. This this fork here is made to take some abuse. It's made to take some big jumps. It's made to um, take a few mistakes. And I, you know, like I said, we're, we're not Colorado here. I'm from Colorado. Uh, you know, when you're used to hucking big gaps, you, you, you've done it for years, you grew up doing it. It seems second nature. When you're in the South and you haven't really had big gaps and big jumps and you've seen it on TV and you give it a try, there's a chance you're going to come down kind of hard, kind of come down wrong. Um, this bike will let you do that and soak it up. Uh, when we talk about soaking it up, it has an extreme rake to it. So, you know, this bike, I think it, it is definitely better suited at going downhill. Um, surprisingly, it actually climbs uphill very well. And a lot of that might be from the elevated gear system that they put on this. This, uh, they didn't skip out. They put a Shimano SLX with 12 speed gear range, um, a clutch derailleur, and this bike will climb up hills very well. You know, it has quite a seat angle here. So, you know, as you're climbing, it almost puts you in a, in a, in a good position to do so. Um, you know, on the flats, I think it feels a little bit weird on the flats, but this is not a flat style bike. It's to get you up the flow trail, get you up the mountain, let you point this sucker downhill and let you do what this bike wants to do. And this bike wants to eat dirt. Um, they, you can tell that by the, by the tire they put on this. They put a, they put a Maxxis uh, a tire on it that has a, a like really, really thick casing, really, really gummy tire. Something that is not speed orientated, but definitely traction orientated. So this bike will be able to you know, hold its line in the extreme situations. We'll let you hit that jump straight and uh, we'll let you, you know, pretty much hit the ground without pinch flatting this tire uh, very easily. Um, just a real solid build. They did put a dropper post on it, so it's kind of cool seeing a dropper post uh, on a bike, on a jump bike, because there's times when you want to go uphill, you're going to need a little bit more leg. You can get the leg. It's time to go downhill and let this bike do what it wants to do. Put that seat down and let this bike catch some air. Let this bike go over some roots. Let this bike flow over the top of some rocks. And if you do happen to make a mistake, you're not, uh, you're not trashing a full suspension mountain bike. Um, this bike is very tough, it's very robust, and it's long and slack and does what it's supposed to do. So, uh, you know, if you want a, a light cross-country race bike, this is not your bike. If you want a bike that you can go out there, hit a flow trail, um, take to Colorado and, and not have to worry about, you know, buying a lot of parts along the way, this Elroy is, is super cool. It's not, it's not cheap. I think this bike's like 2,700 bucks. So yeah, $2,700. Um, not a cheap bike, but it doesn't have a cheap build on it either. Everything on this bike is quality. It's made to last. It's made to, you know, 
have a good time with, put away wet, and ride the next day. Uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, you, you know, we're in the springtime, summer, just just beginning the summer, 2021. It's raining here almost every weekend. You can go ride this bike without trashing your pivot bo bearings. Without, without, you know, I'm not saying abuse this bike, but this bike just has less less moving parts to take care of. So, you know, it's also, you know, like if you do have a cross country race bike, save that bike for cross country racing and just go have a blast with this bike. And, you know, when it comes race day, you're not worried about trying to fix your, your race bike. So it's a, an oddball bike, but a very cool bike and a very a bike that's, that's just made to, you know, help you catch air, help you point yourself downhill and have fun without without a whole lot of, uh, like I said, moving parts to, to go wrong with it. So if you're looking for for a good bike that uh, not everybody has and you can go you know, just have a good time with. Check out the, the Marin Elroy. It's it's long, slack, and it's friggin' mean. And it's awesome. Thank you for Marin for, you know, kind of thinking outside the box and coming up with something, you know, so so robust like this. So 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 cross country guys like me can go out and make a few mistakes and still not uh you know trash my bike. Marin Elroy, something to think about. Thank you.